Sharks. We're all wary of them. Sometimes they appear friendly, but other times they want to eat us. Just like what happened in this first entry. Number 10. Shark Breaks Into Cage Shark cage diving is a popular hobby. Everyone who does this has reason to believe that nothing wrong would happen to them while viewing the sharks. After all, they paid a significant amount of money for the experience. However, sometimes things just go wrong. Take what happened during this cave dive, for example. This cameraman calmly dodged the incoming shark. But that's not meant to happen in the first place. Those gaps are supposed to be small enough to make it impossible for sharks to fit. But this one was just small enough to smash its head through. At least no one was hurt in this incident. Something I can't say for the following clip. Watch as divers fumble back as a shark aggressively tries to reach for them. They're not too panicked yet, but soon enough, they may need therapy. Why, you ask? Because of the poor cage design, the shark died. See that? It bled out because it got stuck and ruined its gills trying to free itself. Yikes! It makes me not want to try cave diving at all. Number 9. Great White in Pond well, this isn't something you see every day. In fact, it's not something you would want to see at all. You see, some time ago, a great white shark had gotten stuck in a Massachusetts salt pond. Imagine that. You're having a relaxing time, a picnic in the pond with your loved one. And suddenly, a great white decides to tag along as a third wheel. Not the ideal date, is it? So, just what happened that made the shark end up there in the first place? According to residents, a bad storm with an unusually high tide carried the shark along its waves and deposited it in the salt pond at Cape Cod, which was ironically right across the bay. It was stuck in that small body of water for about a week until scientists could remove it and bring it back to its natural habitat. They managed to do this by coasting it impressively, resulting in neither party getting harmed in the process. Thanks to these guys, this shark is probably stuffing his face to this day. Number 8. Snooty the Shark Often we're told to punch a shark in the nose if it comes close to us. However, people probably advise the opposite when it comes to this shark. Meet Snooty, the sociable lemon shark. When she senses you're underwater, she'll swim right up to you and greet you and give you the biggest and cutest smile you'll ever witness from a shark. Next, she'll probably bonk your hand because she loves receiving nose pats. Honestly. Imagine she's one big underwater dog, like a golden retriever. She's friendly, silly, and loyal. She's so loyal, in fact, that she won't leave you until you're at the end of your dive. The reason Snooty behaves this way is probably because of her species. Lemon sharks are known to pose little threat to humans. According to the Florida Museum, there have only been 10 incidents of unprovoked attack by lemon sharks, none of which were fatal. Maybe those were cases of roughhousing gone wrong. Whatever the case, keeping your guard up is fine, though I'm sure Snooty's demeanor will make you feel comfortable around her quickly. Number 7. Scuba Diving Encounter Grayson Shepard was diving for lionfish with his buddies one day. For his final dive, Grayson entered the water alone. There he collected a few of the desired fish in his pack, with a few more he could grill once he and his friends returned to the shore. When he'd filled his inventory, Grayson was swimming up, when he caught something from the corner of his eye, there was a great white shark. He was alarmed because he hadn't seen it at first, causing him to be wary that he may have triggered its predatory instinct. However, he was prepared. While decompressing before exiting the water, he checked around him to make sure it didn't come back for him. But return it did. Ironically, despite beelining it to Grayson, it turned away the last few seconds. Even the spearfisher was surprised, though he was relieved. The act suggested that the shark was curious more than anything. Ultimately, Grayson decided to test his luck with the bits, and left rather than risk having a third encounter with the shark that day. Number 6. Camouflaging Shark So here's some news none of you would like. Sharks can camouflage. Yeah, I don't mean just the deep sea ones either. They're called angel sharks, and if you're not careful while diving, you might experience the receiving end of a painful bite. Nothing angelic about it. These sharks inhibit sandy seabeds around 490 feet in depth. 
Currently, they're considered critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature due to significant fishing pressure, which resulted in their population decline. At first glance, you might mistake this shark as a ray, given their flat bodies. However, they have no venom, just a harrowing set of teeth. Despite occurring worldwide in temperate and tropical seas, most of these species can be found in much smaller areas. This is most likely due to their behavior as ambush predators known to be stationary. How do they ambush, you ask? Like the flatfish, they bury themselves in the sand and wait for their prey to be overhead before they strike. You can see that here. That's why I recommend you keep your feet above the sand at all times underwater. You never know what's down there. Number 5. Bad Fishing Day You know how some guys get on kayaks to fish in the deep? I tried that once, and boy, never again! Half the time, I was trying to make sure I'm not falling off the boat. But you know what? That experience was nothing compared to this guy's. A hammerhead was stalking him heavily throughout. He decided enough was enough and began hitting away at it. I know, offense is the best defense sometimes, but think about it. You're alone in the open water with no one around to spot you in case things go south. I'd probably impulsively paddle away for dear life, then confront the giant that's trying to turn me into blue steak. But hey, it seems to work for him. I'm sure it was scary seeing it aggressively try to take revenge, but at least he made it to the shore. If anyone else were in his shoes, either they die, survive with missing limbs, or survive after losing every equipment they had, including the boat. Kudos to this man. Incredible how he handled the situation. Number 4. Black Ghost Shark If you thought sharks couldn't get any scarier, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. They do. Meet the chimera of our time, the Black Ghost Shark. They're not the fire-breathing anomalies of Greek mythology, but I assure you, one spot of these in the water, then you'd be experiencing chills down your back. It's not that they're deadly. For one, I've never heard of a fatal encounter with any of them before, probably because of how deep in the water they live. But because of how they look, look at them, and tell me you don't think they're a frankenfish. They are, right? Anyway. These guys are opportunist feeders, eating bottom-dwelling invertebrates like crabs, mollusks, and octopus. Yep, they can crush through those hard shells thanks to their three rows of toothed plates. Like their relatives, they use electroreception to find their prey in the dark. Ironic, these sharks are vulnerable to commercial fishing pressure despite being deep-sea fish. That and deep-sea trawling. They're often caught as bycatch. That's a sad way to go, especially since they have a 30-year life expectancy. Now it's time for today's best pick. We all know what usually happens during a shark encounter, right? At least this guy was fortunate to have backup. Find out what happened next. Number 3. Painful Dive The video went viral a couple of years ago about a shark attack filmed at Brothers Island, Egypt. Let's talk about what happened. Dan White was finishing his deep diver certification with seven others on November 3, 2018. Around noon, the group began to surface to head to a nearby reef. However, an oceanic white-tipped shark was spotted during their final exercises. White began filming, believing this would end up as a harmless and cool encounter. He was wrong. As the shark went in to investigate, it took a particular interest in a man named Ian. About 32 feet below the surface, the shark made three attempts at Ian, who fended off all attacks. Unfortunately, it landed a bite on the fourth one and nibbled his leg. A diver wrestled the shark away, but the damage was already done. The group helped Ian get to the boat to take him to the surface. Later, it was discovered Ian's calf was severely injured, but medics and first responders were there to aid him immediately. As horrifying as it was, at least he survived. Number 2. Aggressive Diners Nobody knows what can happen in the deep sea, but these scientists probably didn't expect this. While underwater, this team of experts came across a carcass of a dead whale. Soon, sharks began appearing at the site to partake in the feast. It's remarkable to watch. However, the scientists were soon nervous and scared. Why? These sharks thought they were rivals for the carcass. So, what happened to them? 
the sharks began attacking their submarine. I don't mean they're biting their parts off, leaving the scientists to their doom. This isn't a science fiction movie. But they're slamming their gigantic bodies against the glass to push them away. One expert admitted that while their vehicle is durable, given the sheer size of the animal, he was wary something might break. Thankfully, the sharks soon realized the team wasn't there for their meal. So they stopped attacking and went back to eating. Man, that's scary. The thing from other videos we see lying around on the internet, these things just study the submarines. Who knew they'd swallow their curiosity and go ahead and protect what's theirs? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Dangerous Jump Cliff diving is another hobby that's popular. Little did I know, it's an official sport too. Look at this clip from the Red Bull Cliff Diving 2019 competition. Amazing how these athletes pull that off. You need to be strong physically and mentally in order to do it. But the competition isn't what we're after on this list. We're talking about one cliff dive that went wrong. Sometime in 2014, a man went cliff diving with his friend at Sydney Harbor. It was all fun and games until this last dive, where he landed very close to a great white shark. I'm sure the creature spotted him the second he came into the water, but for some reason, it didn't go investigate him. At least, not right away. But as soon as he tries to swim out of harm's way, it does swim up to him and studies him for a while before moving on. Why? We don't know, but I'll say that guy is extremely lucky. If that shark was hungry, we might not have had this footage today, nor him. Until next time, adios.